just going to take a minute and go over some uh, some of the line string command in, in Trimble Business Center and what you do when you make a mistake and how you backtrack, uh, change some of those mistakes, and, and what you can do. This can be a very frustrating part of using this command. Uh, it does some things really well, but at the same time, when you make a mistake, it can be very difficult to uh, undo. So what you want to do for this is, let's just say we were drawing this smooth curve here, and we accidentally clicked out here and made a point. Uh, first thing that you should do just to have a common uh, starting point is just hit escape. Hit escape twice. Uh, just click out uh, of that line so that we can have a fresh starting point to what's going on here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to click on this line. We want to right click and then just hit edit. So right now you can see that this uh, current segment is blue. That means that it's it's asking uh, the program's asking you which segment do you want to alter, start at, change. Uh, so if you look as I move along this line, it automatically brings me to the closest segment. Uh, by default, it's at the start coordinate, which is right there. So it, it's asking what where do we want to fix? What do we want to adjust? So of course we're going to come to this last segment. So just just move your mouse until that last segment turns uh, orange and then just click one time. So now we just selected this line segment. You'll see up here this change to number 12, which is a smooth curve line segment. So there's a, a few things we can do. This is a more of a simple mistake. We wanna just change the next point, the location right here. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna put your cursor inside the coordinate uh, dialog box, and we're just gonna rewrite it, overwrite it. So now it's, as you can see, it's asking for a new coordinate. So we're going to click on the line correctly the way that we want to. And now it's asking for an elevation because auto advance is off. Uh, we're just going to hit enter. And now it's made that line uh, in the right spot. Now here's the one thing that is easy to miss. Now that we've done that, it's back to asking us where's the next segment you want to alter. Well, we want to continue this line segment, so the button we want to click is this middle button right here, add after last segment. If you don't do that, it's it's not going to work correctly. Uh, the only reason you have to click that add after last segment is because you went back to alter the line as opposed to just moving freely. So you click that, and now it's asking for the next line. So we're going to or next spot. We're going to click right here. Ask us for an elevation. We're just going to hit enter because there's no elevation information to add. And now it's automatically asking you for the next next segment. And you can see up here it says adding new segment. So now you can add the last segment if you want. Uh, that is how you go through uh, changing the location. Uh, it works similar for elevation. Uh, So let's just say that elevation was wrong. It's not supposed to be 500. It's supposed to be 557. So again, hit escape. Hit escape and get out of it. Go back to that line. Right click. Edit. Now we want to adjust that elevation. Well, that elevation is tied to the end of this segment right here. So, of course, this is blue up here asking you which segment do you want to alter. So you're going to click on this segment. When you click on this segment, it's going to give you the coordinate for the end of that segment, which we're okay with. Then it's also going to give you the elevation of this segment. That's wrong. This needs to be 557, so type 557. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit Enter or click Save. So now it is back to asking you now which segment do you want to alter? Well, we want to continue on this line. So all you do is you come to the end of the line, which is the last segment. You click one time and it's brought you to the last segment and you click this middle button again, add after last segment. Now that button allows you to add another point. Uh, I'll just go over one more thing. Let's say that uh, I'm just going to make a quick change to this. So let's say that this was a straight segment and it was really supposed to be a smooth curve. Uh, again, hit escape twice to get out. So that segment, we want to change that. 
So go back into this line, right click, hit edit. And so, you know, it's hard to tell because of the uh, way smooth curves work, which one is actually wrong. So let's just check this one right here. So we'll hover over till that line turns uh, orange and click one time. And you look here to the segment type, this is segment 11, which is right here. And it's saying smooth curve. So that one's good. You can hit this forward arrow to advance one place on your line segment. We come to this one, we see, oh, straight. Okay, that we want that one to be a curve. So all we're going to do is we're going to drop this down. We're going to click on smooth curve. So we change that, and all we have to do is hit enter or click save. Now it made that a smooth curve. Now you have to have multiple smooth curves in a row. Uh, that's why that one changed as well. But now that one's good, but you have to be careful. You can't just continue adding onto the segment. You need to, to come in here, and you need to click this add after last segment. When you hit that, it comes to the last segment in your line, and you're ready to go. Uh, if for some reason you were working backwards, uh, if you had to alter the beginning of this line, which is over here, it can it, it sort of changes up that workflow. Uh, really simple, what you want to do is if you have to extend this line off the start of it, come up here to this button right here, hover over, it should say reverse line string direction. You click that one time and it just reversed the line string. So now that's the end of the line. So you can come over to there. And if you click that last segment, you can see what that last segment is. You can see the elevation, the coordinate. Uh, you can always hit at any time, add after last segment. And now you're adding off what was the beginning of the line. Now it's the end of the line. And you can add different points and, uh, and extend that line uh, however you'd like. So that, that should cover most of what to do when you, when you come into a, uh, an error with a line string and how you, uh, how you fix it, change it, uh, and then continue building that line string. So don't forget this little reverse line string button is very handy. Uh, it'll let you go to the other end of a, of a line. It's much easier to add after the last segment of a line to continue it on if you have to uh, continue the line.